So they they tell you that about the ants and the clans and stuff. Okay. Mm. Don't you still want some ant sap? Ant amber. Ant amber. I'm not. Mm. I don't want them to see it because they oh, might okay. want some. Ant You've been eating that like every, every day. day. Is it is it gone yet? No. No. Nope, he's it's, taking little bits at a time. Yeah, it's little tiny oh, okay. tiny bits. Just savor it. Because mm-hmm. I know why not get some more. Delicious. Insect you don't use secretions. all your cocaine on one shot. Uh, you guys haven't rested since you went through the portal. I get, yeah, I'm not a party He's yet. not addicted yet. Well, he he might be. He just doesn't know it yet. So I mean, I never, quit any time. I eat it because I like it, not because I you, have. You to. haven't like not had it, so you haven't felt the need for it. So you, yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna take it away from Dave. You're one of these like, days and he's gonna like, die. I mean, like, I sit in the corner. Oh, like, oh, like I have God. coffee every morning of the day. I never feel like I need coffee because I always get coffee. Yep. Exactly. And like sweats. So you guys suddenly realize that like you're you're all pretty tired. Like yes, you've been we're exhausted. You've been yeah. hopping around portals yes. for a I while. I technically yes. died. And yeah, you technically, <laughs> yeah, died. technically died. You lost your hand. Are, you, are you healed up? I'm right at now. three. I'm gonna heal you. Okay. <laughs> Merrick should be like tired all the time because even for us, we go through a lot of things where we don't gonna, rest. Merrick should always be just like collapsing from exhaustion. No, you're chaotic, aren't you? So the the uh, dwarven neutral. ship. I'm not chaotic. Seems to be a pretty <laughs> safe place to rest, and the dwarves seem kind of okay with that. If you oh, wanted to take a so rest, they, do they give us rooms, like the they, place to stay. You can ask them about it. If nothing else, you could always just like sleep out on the deck. But what? five dice for me. Uh, it's, uh, oh yeah, I I, 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 I heal up to full. Yep. Because if I roll the minimum, I get to eight. And that's your max right, right now. now. <laughs> oh, that's right. Cause you're, you're, what a waste. Your stamina, what is your stamina okay. right now? That's like four. Um, oh, okay. Deidre, are you fully healed right now? I am. Excellent. I'm going to heal myself. Heal myself. <laughs> and I fail. <laughs> what? Wait, how is that possible? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, that's actually important. So... Uh, you're you're like going around like patching people up and stuff, mm-hmm. and the uh, the second you call on Netro to like heal them up, you yeah. know, uh, the the green light like pervades over them and stitches the wounds to, to, to heal up. He was healing himself. I was healing yeah, you I first. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm saying okay. I'm saying when he heals you first. God. So you you heal up and stuff, but as the wounds are stitching together, the green light of Netro like pulses for a minute over Merrick, oddly enough, and then like flickers for a bit, and then. Suddenly, the dwarves are, like, watching you curiously, and then suddenly the green light, like, splits into a bunch what? of different little spotlights coming out of your coming out of your holy symbol, and they go, and they shoot up into the air, and then shoot towards the temple, far off into the distance of the forest. And then, like, and then, like, disappear into the ether. Okay. Uh, um... Hmm. I believe. Does that mean I have not attempted to heal myself? Then are we going back? No, no. You you can still you can still attempt to heal yourself. Okay. Yeah. Unless, I you de- <laughs> okay. unless you decide that based on that event well, you I wouldn't mean, try because you're like worried about what that meant. Yeah. yeah I I I still because I already said it. I mm-hmm. I still attempt to heal myself. Okay. The, um, the, does it does it like sputter? Is there a, s- it, a signal it, of it even attempting? To it heal? doesn't sputter, but when you try to heal yourself this time again, the lights jump up once more and also shoot towards. But without healing me first. No, well, it it try it does the magic works as intended, but it, you fail it. So, yeah. Is there? Do any... I have a limited amount of magic to use if it's taking all the magic? Yeah. Can right. you, yeah. Um, can you tell if it looks like? Well, first of all, it doesn't seem like it's tired. draining him. No, no. I mean, like, could, but does it look like? But what could it be doing? The power of Necro is That's fine. Con- is consciously choosing to go there, or does it look like it's being sucked away? Oh, um, you're not really sure which. Oh, I see the difference. Because oh, you know how man. in animation you can draw and look like you like is resisting or not, yeah, and so yeah, you yeah. can gotta get a sense you're, of like. You're not really sure. Does Does Joven have a sense? Like, does he feel like his power is being taken, or does he sense this is Netro giving me a direction to go to yeah, the temple? Is Is, is ah. Netro uh, indicating to me, or is Netro like want me to stop because his power is getting taken? He hasn't said anything yet, and it doesn't appear like he's he's angry with. All right, you. second sight. Shall we go to the temple? Okay. <laughs> yes, Failure. I said <laughs> I I I pointed towards it. Good dingus. <laughs> yes, I had. I'm what? cased in carbonite in the basement. You need what, to come rescue me. What more do you want? <laughs> do you want oh, me to was, hold your hand, That was Golden? just a regular failure. Actually, yeah, that wasn't a crit fail last time. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't you remember how to I forgot I just get clerics? to keep doing it over and over again, huh? All right. What do you think, do you, think you are? Let's try Wizard? healing myself again. Let's it just seems first. like healing yourself should okay, never be Okay, healing myself five, five point or five dice. In battle, it definitely makes sense that it should. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. My hit dice are d8. What's right. the next step? That you that a cleric could fail to heal themselves. Oh. Uh, right? Because, I mean, you're literally your god's, like... Conduit? For, yeah, for yeah. it to fail, Six. it would imply something really horrible, right? Because okay, it's not like, next. oh, I forgot how my connection with my god works. And it's not like in combat where there's, like, a distraction or something horrible. Well, like, I, I, no, th- I think the idea is that you're pushing your god for power. So, mm-hmm. Like, the more you, like... Ask your god for assistance. The harder and harder it gets. So you have to roll well enough to like show that you pled well enough with your god mm. for healing. Could because okay. Wh- now what, it's second set. What what kind of person do you think you are, mortal man? Asking for my power. All right. Um. Yeah. Natural twenty on second sight. Oh jeez. Okay. So double wow. your spell check roll and then uh, add it all together and let uh, me know what it is. Do I have it written down? Uh, it's probably eight. It's your level plus your uh personality. Personality. It yeah. is eight. So it's double oh, of that, yeah. so it's 16. 16, yeah. 16 30 plus 30 the, six. yeah, 36. So that is the maximum result. It is. Oh, for Which, the crit, uh, for the crit table? Oh, God. No, we don't, we don't, we don't get a hologram. crit table. Just, like, oh, the maximum result for the spell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So so the dwarves are, like, watching you heal people up, you know, and you're, like, trying mm-hmm. this stuff, and the, the symbol's, like, flashing these green lights off, and then after a while, the dwarves will, like, slowly start to back away from you and, like, move up against the side of the ship. Because they feel a little, like, uneasy about this. Oh. And then you go... Right. <laughs> I totally didn't just say that I was a cleric. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, just start doing shit. Wizard! Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> and then you cast Second Sight. What does it look like when you cast Second Sight? Okay. This, with this natural 20. So, I... I go off to the side. I, I tell my friends that I'm I'm going to glean whether we should go to the temple. And so I... I, and... I go off towards the, the prow of the ship. And b- when well, you okay, go so off is there, there... Is there a second deck of the prow of the ship? Uh, like it goes up to the prow. Yeah, like there's yeah, a deck, yeah. and then there's yes. a second level. Yeah. When you go I up go there. up there, and and I, I look out uh, beyond the prow, and I sit there meditating with the symbol like floating in front of me. I'm I'm imagining and okay. like channeling my vision through it. Okay. To see what my God wants me to see. I'm pretty sure. Natural already told him where to go. We've seen this before. So, so I was like, eh. so the symbol floats, and mm-hmm. then suddenly there is this. The symbol shakes a lunch a bunch, and then starts vibrating violently. And then you feel like this, like this. You see this like white spark start to spark and glow out of the symbol. Just, mm-hmm. and you've seen this before when you brought people's limbs back. And then suddenly all these like green like shoots of fireworks just start coming out of the symbol. Just. Shh- it's shooting all over the place and cracking and breaking and stuff like oh, that. Man. That's new. Just, wow. It cracks off and then a whole bunch of them like shoot off the ship and crack and explode with a couple of thunderous booms. Ooh, is it pretty? Does it go... Do yes. you, guys, do you yeah. guys start like applauding? And yeah. Like, oh, and the dwarves are freaking terrified. They're just like, <laughs> ah! And they like back up and, ah! and oh, like, wait, wait. Does Virgil surprisingly go, yay, forgetting that he's actually an old man? He's like back in his childhood, like the joy. It's like, yay! It's like, oh, oh, excuse there's, me, there's sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> like, like, so, he, so these, these things like fly <laughs> off and explode in different directions and yes. stuff like that. And then eventually... There's this thin green line that goes and splits down the middle, and then it goes and opens wide as the sky in front of you splits apart. My eyes are closed oh! in meditation, oh! but I can't see it. Do Children, I, do I, what have you done? Do I feel it like a like a change in air pressure? Yeah, do, do I notice it? Okay. And then there's, there's I'm gonna open my eyes. You there's slit the sun to the very sky. <laughs> You've done the same goddamn thing. There's you actually this, there's actually this slight intake of wind, and you look. Oh, I'm beyond. so used to very overreacting to magic that it's like, oh, it's like it's all... and you and you look beyond, a wizard, and the and the green like fades away to reveal this um this room that has these high high shelves full of stuff of books, mm-hmm. like running along the sides. This is the coda. Yeah, like you'd assume so, okay. and then you see in front of you there's like these uh there's like these stone tablets laid out on this long altar that goes on down for like a while and the tablets have a whole bunch of things written on them Mm -hmm. and as you open your eyes and look upon these tablets for a moment different parts of them light up in green and all this information starts flowing into your head you're just like (laughs) and it's just like it's almost too much like it just flows into your mind oh my god (laughs) and then after (laughs) and then in an instant like almost unexplainably the thing like slams shut and there's this final like holy like glow green glow from your symbol and then it just dies down and then like you open your eyes and for the briefest second you can see nothing but just like green and then it fades away and your vision returns to normal uh for the next month you receive an ongoing sense of possible outcomes 
At every significant decision or juncture, you receive a premonition regarding the decision that make that must uh, that you must make. A sense of foreboding or certitude, depending on whether the action bodes well for you or not. Wow. For any so, given action, so I've there, achieved true sight. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> for any given action, there's a 99% chance that the sense is accurate. By concentrating, the cleric can receive a sense of whether a future action, one to be taken within the next day, will be a bane or a boon. For example, a cleric could divine the results of a great battle to be fought on the morrow and gain a sense that altogether he will emerge unharmed from the battle. It will be harmful to his church. Uh, It will be harmful to his church. You know, yeah. In addition, the cleric will receive a plus one bonus to all rolls while the second sight is active, reflecting his general insight into the consequences of his actions, of all his actions. Oh my god. That's... That's Okay, so number one, you're now an X-Man. Yeah, now I can Welcome see to, all uh, possible futures. Welcome I'm to the DCC spell system. I'm a uh, who's the what's the name of the main dude in Dune? Oh, you're you're now so Paul Atreides. Yes, Atreides. yes, Atreides. yes. And yeah. Yeah. we need to oh we need God, to forget this one. whole adventure. We need to get to Vegas as soon as we can. <laughs> we will be the wealthiest people on the planet. Oh my God! Should I bet on black? No, no. <laughs> Everything on red. I know. We we this is <laughs> it. Yeah, we are so, in. <laughs> Double, double again. Why, double would again. You, why would you use your god's powers for evil? <laughs> where, where is the country of gambling in my rent? We're, we're, we are just out. We're out. <laughs> it's like, we don't need to adventure anymore. As far as your question about whether or not you should go to the temple is concerned. Yeah. So as soon as you like concentrate on that question, your head like knocks back once more and you drop to your knees and your eyes light up. You guys have seen this before. It's the same thing that happened when he got a vision last time. Okay. okay. And uh, you see like as if you're looking for the vision of a bird. And the vision, like, flies over the temple for a minute and then zips down into the forest and zipping past all these trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can see that there are a variety of these humanoid figures dressed in these, like, like kind of reddish, greenish cloaks covering and with hoods covering their faces. Mm -hmm. Uh, But the one main thing you notice is that upon their robes in certain places are uh, a whole bunch of, like, these, these symbol, these, like, it's like a diamond with a dot in the center of it like all over the robes, but some of the diamonds uh, with the dots in the center don't actually exist, and they're just lines. So it's like all over the place on these guys' robes, and mm-hmm. they go crossing over. Give me an intelligence check as you go soaring over those guys. With plus one. With, with plus, one. plus one. And then you go flying Five. down. Five. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. And then you go yep. flying down towards the temple, and the temple is like uh, this. It opens. It kind of has this like triangular roof with... Uh, stone architecture almost looking kind of in our world to be comparable to like Greek in appearance. The architecture actually reminds you a lot of the buildings beneath in the Undercroft in Lear and Masiatica. Like it's very, very similar. So much so that you'd assume it was possibly built during the same time. And then there is this kind of black opening in the center of the temple with the stone wall and you can see kind of this mist pouring out of the entrance. Uh, And you hear this voice boom in your head and it says, it says, down to the depths to slay your mortal enemy. Go, Ooh, boy. Go, my hand. So, and then enemy I singular. will not fail you. What? Enemy singular. Enemy singular. And then the vision. The vision ends. Wait, it says that that was a voice to him. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was a voice oh. from the temple I, to his cultist. No, no, no. It was. Oh. It was saying directly I, to. It was Netro talking to Joven. Oh. About the temple. He spoke directly to me and called me his hand. Ooh. And then this. I don't believe any cleric of Netro has done this before. And then, as you turn to like your left and look on the prow of the ship, mm-hmm. you see a red ant and a black ant. Oh no! It's the red ant black ant thing again. On uh, on the prow, okay. and and the red ant once more like kills the black ant and throws its body into oh, the sea. but no disguising. No disguising. Just slaughter. Straight up slaughter. Yes. Have we finally concluded? It is time to do God's work, gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Okay, because over time I've like gotten confused. It's like, are you the red ant or the black ant? Because yeah. it seems like there's been a lot of like back and forth. Seems to be a recurring metaphor somehow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's he's the red ant because he shook off the soot the first time. All right. uh, From on high, the people look like ants. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I'm also super curious why Joven or not sorry, not Joven, why Natural has this whole ant motif as his as his shtick. Hey, he 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 works his magic through bugs, like through his yeah, magic yeah, world, kind of surprised or through me. his like scarab that I kept captured. It. We don't oh, know what happened that. to him. I thought it was he's just still ants. at the dual He's hot. still at the dual he's still the, you name, what did you I name named him? him Titan. That's I right, Titan. Yeah. He, and that's actually interesting though. A lot of Netro's visions seem to have been transferred through insects. Oddly Ooh. enough. Is it possible that Netro is Insects actually are the like wisest the, creatures? You know how like a lot of the saints have like different <laughs> templates? Yeah. Is it possible that Netro is also the god of like bugs and that in fact the dwarven people's fate is the result of them having wrong natural wrong like, and I, ants have overrun I, them. That, that's his symbol and Egyptians are all about locusts and... Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't know. But anyway... And scarabs. And you don't want to send a bunch of locusts onto the city of Lear to suggest a plague. I No, I don't. So that happens. <laughs> that whole display occurs and the dwarves have like flattened themselves against the side of the ship's, of the ship's hull and they're just like... Uh, I'm flattened with them. Yeah, and they they stare around like ah. Uh, uh, I I I stand up slowly and I, I and my uh, my symbol mm-hmm. is still whole and I yeah. right and I pick yes. it up and I I like put it back around my neck <laughs> and I lean to the nearest door and go, his god like the flashies. I turn around, fear not, dwarves and Merrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's the speech. He loves the I, speeches. <laughs> I have simply communicated with my god, and he has decided that we must go mm-hmm. to the temple and slay my mortal enemy. So the dwarves like glance around a bit at everybody, and they and the one of them goes, "Ah, uh, we can't let we, you do that. We have no quarrel with the people." I believe it is an enemy of, of my god. There is a dark spirit in this temple. And the dwarves... One that must be cleansed. The dwarves, for the good of the people on the island. The dwarves, for the good of yourselves. The dwarves look to each other and go... And they, they look at you kind of like... They seem to be like getting a little bit angrier now. And they stand up a bit away from the wall and they go... I, I ask nothing of you, kind sailors. For you have given us food when we had nothing else to offer. Let me offer you this. Dwarves. I will help the people of this island with my task. And the dwarves look back and forth and go, All credit will go to you. The only people on this island are our are custom- the are our yeah. customers. Yeah. If you go and wipe out whatever's in that temple, it hurts our business. How much are you being paid? Enough. Wait, are you going to offer them more? Whatever they're paying you, I'm double it. I, I believe we've entered look, some business we, negotiations here, I and start, enough is not something I can quantify to the, pay you back. And the dwarves turn towards you and go, I start eating twice as fast as soon as I realize the relationship's going sour, because <laughs> I know it's like, right. Uh, give me another intelligence check. Uh, so uh, the, the dwarves, like, look towards 16. you. 16. 16. So you notice as you're, like, scarfing down these salted fish, every now and again, one of the fish will mysteriously, like, when nobody's looking, it'll float up in the air and then, like, slowly disappear in chunks as if as if it's slowly Beans. disappearing in bites. What the fuck? So, Wait, where did we oh, last see um, this effect? You, I don't, I don't know. think I've seen this effect. You, you described um, something just like this in another episode where, where like, the, something was being invisibly eaten mm-hmm. without mm-hmm. seeing it. I don't recall. Yeah. I, don't recall. I, don't recall. I don't remember that. I, I think you're thinking of the Dread game where there were the invisible things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, you're right. Um, uh, it's faux. F- look. It's fa. Fa. Kind, fa. Fa. Five. Kind, fa. Falafel. Just call them fa. Kind fa. sailors. We will, we will be sure to make make no connection with you in their minds. We will come as as strangers, but not in relation to you. You don't under and then one of the. Dwarves... I mean, no harm to the people of this island. I think uh, the concern me. is that they will fight and then they'll lose their business. Excuse me, no, the, their, the people uh, here will stay here and they will still need your services. Excuse me, dwarves. Um. You just saw a powerful display of this man's might, correct? And they grumble to each other, suppose. And you feel brave enough to try and stop him? Oh. And, and they all look around and they go, Man is mortal. If we cut him and he bleeds, then he can be killed. Have you seen him Sirs, bleed? During our adventure with, the, with, our, with our friends, the dwarves, Gurgen Stonedor was, was so grateful for our assistance 
that he invited me into his clan, and as proof, he gave me this. What do we care about the stone doors? They're no, no concern to us. This is a pure business. Joven, you're talking to these dwarves on a grounds that don't simply don't make sense. <sighs> you kill off our customers, or whatever the reason I'm the customers simply... are on the island for, it's something we're going to get in the way of. And they start to move forward a bit, and he goes, I think you four better leave this island. 